Yet again, a little space apparatus, the Explorer 2, is setting out toward its nearest experience yet with the planet Neptune. It's currently billions of miles from Earth. Neptune is the eighth marvel of our nearby planet group. No other heavenly body comes near this planet with regard to grandness and frightening highlights. However, Neptune's once cheerful storyline has experienced a plunge. There is something amiss happening in the ice giant. Several cosmologists had cautioned long back. At first, researchers couldn't pinpoint what was wrong, as they were more entranced with the capability of life on Earth. The difficulty had gotten out of hand when we found the decay. This moment, researchers are having a hard time fixing this issue, particularly with the distance of the planet from Earth. What stunning discovery about Neptune has researchers generally stressed? Might this issue at some point be related to a reputed sea world under Neptune, or is the issue related to Triton, Neptune's largest moon? Join us as we explore how something horrendous is happening to Neptune in 2024, and nobody knows why. Researchers have forever been captivated with Neptune and have made an honest effort to navigate the overwhelming floods of mystery surrounding the planet. To learn new facts, over recent decades, we have been studying this exceptional planet and pretty much every other day, we coincidentally find a sparkling discovery that demonstrates there are still many secrets ready to be found in Neptune. It was the quest for these secret wonders that led astronomers to the doors of a stunning new revelation. Something wrong is happening to Neptune. Scratch that. Something horrendous is happening to the sparkling icy planet, and researchers have been unable to get the image of the miserable event out of their heads. Anyway. We can't discuss this emerging issue without first giving Neptune its flowers for being an astonishing planet. Assuming every one of the planets in the planetary group were to unite for a family meeting, Neptune's presence would be the most scary, even without saying a word. The planet affects other adjoining planets and space experts who continually notice it standing firm on the unflinching foothold of the eighth planet in the planetary group. Neptune belongs to the group of giant planets. Anyway, the planet was not happy with this gathering and chose to split down into another subam known as Ice Giants. Neptune is an ice giant, and it shares this distinction with its close twin Uranus. In diameter, it is the fourth largest in the nearby planet group. Another distinctive feature is that it is the third most massive planet and the densest giant planet in our solar system. When set next to each other, Neptune surpasses Uranus by being slightly larger. If Earth were to enter the competition, we would see that Neptune is multiple times the size of Earth. Although the average person would be stunned by this data, scientists have various thoughts going through their heads. Many researchers have discussed the possibility of residing on Neptune. The planet's huge size means there is enough room for it to act as an Earth colony. Assuming we ever confirm that it can support human existence, while we contemplate this thought, we should mention that the planet's equatorial range is 24,764 kilometers, almost four times what is possible on Earth. Neptune demonstrates that it's larger than our planet Neptune, forging ahead with its series of winds by having a surface gravity of 1.14 times Earth's surface gravity. The only planet better than it in this category is the renowned Jupiter. Numerous researchers have admitted that investigating Neptune comes with a different kind of feeling. It is as though they are walking through El Dorado. This feeling is heightened by the way that Neptune invites them into a new world that is so different from what we have on Earth. In addition, it is difficult to catch a glimpse of Neptune with the naked eye. In the early years of the planet's discovery, we had to rely on our imaginations and whatever rudimentary mathematical projections we had. However, over time, we have been able to peel away the layers of mystery wrapping this planet. This journey began on September 23, 1846, when Johann Gall first observed the giant planet using a telescope, signaling the start of a series of observations. The turning point in our understanding of Neptune came in August 1989 when the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by the planet. The space probe provided us with a better image of this comet-like planet and birthed additional opportunities we never realized existed. We have been able to build on some of these possibilities thanks to the advent of advanced space equipment like the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Despite being millions of kilometers from Earth, the HST and JWST 
have continually sent back valuable data from various space observations over the years. Neptune has routinely featured in this data. When researchers look at these images, they found something exciting about Neptune's internal structure. They couldn't contain their excitement at the realization that Neptune's internal structure is quite similar to Uranus. This implies they have been correct from the start in considering Neptune as Uranus's twin. A further review of the observed data showed researchers that Neptune's atmosphere represents 5 to 10% of its mass and that the planet's core is composed of iron, nickel, and silica. This specific finding left scientists puzzled because we can't reside in such atmospheric conditions. It is an extremely dangerous climate for human existence, particularly considering that the prevailing winds of speed range from 20 meters per second in the easterly direction to 325 meters per second in the westerly direction. If by some miracle we find a solution to this natural phenomenon so we can reside on Neptune, we can't ignore the fact that the majority of the winds on the planet move in a direction opposite to the planet's rotation. Researchers were still baffled by this finding when another revelation was dropped on their laps. Space observations have revealed that there is a crazy amount of methane, ethane, and acetylene at Neptune's equator. This is 10 to 20 times more prominent than at the poles. Besides, Neptune is plagued by seasonal changes that have caused the cloud bands in the southern hemisphere to increase in size. Additionally, analysts have conceded that there is a direct connection between Neptune's long orbital period and why seasons often last for 40 years. Today, Neptune is the farthest planet in the solar system and it maintains a very distant relationship with the Sun. At a distance of 4.5 billion kilometers, the planet completes its required orbit around the Sun. Clearly, the two are not the best of friends. Despite the strained relationship between the two, Neptune still receives energy from the Sun. However, the planet emits twice as much energy as it receives from the Sun. This finding came as a shock to researchers as they have been unable to explain how a planet that lies more than half the distance from the sun and receives only 40% of its amount of sunlight has sufficient internal energy to drive the fastest planetary winds in the solar system. They are also puzzled by the fact that Neptune is hotter than Uranus. According to precedent, Uranus should be hotter due to its proximity to the sun. However, this is not true as we see evidence of this when we visit the upper regions of Neptune's lower atmosphere. Here, the temperature can drop to 50.8 Kelvin. If we choose to travel further down, the temperature climb is consistent. Researchers are yet to recover from the shock of Neptune being hotter than Uranus despite being farther from the Sun. They ponder the answer to these questions. They were hit by more shocking revelations from Triton, Neptune's moon. In the realm of natural satellites, Triton stands tall above other moons. It is the largest natural satellite of Neptune and the first to be discovered by researchers. Situated at a distance of approximately 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun and slightly less than 4.4 billion kilometers from our dear planet, Triton is so distant from us. This answers the question of why it is so challenging to observe Triton using telescopes from Earth. However, the 1989 Voyager 2 flyby and the use of ground-based and space telescopes have given us enough data to create a picture of this fascinating moon world. Since Triton was discovered on October 10, 1846, by English astronomer William Lassell, researchers have been captivated by this enigmatic moon. Nearly all that is known about Triton is extraordinary. From the fact that it is the only large moon in the solar system with a retrograde orbit, in layman's terms, Triton's orbit is in the opposite direction to its planet's rotation. This is so remarkable that if Lassell hadn't used his 24-inch telescope to look into space, it might have taken us much longer to learn about this heavenly natural satellite. Similarly, we would have been limited in our understanding of the satellite and Neptune itself. Despite the age of sophisticated space observation instruments, the advent of space telescopes made it possible to capture data about the mysterious satellite. Researchers had barely recovered from the shock of this exceptional feature when their investigation revealed that Triton was the seventh largest moon in the solar system with a diameter of 2,761 kilometers. Named after the Greek sea god Triton, who is the son of Poseidon, the Greek god corresponding to the Roman Neptune, Triton is larger than the dwarf planet Pluto. Scientists find it fascinating that Triton accounts for over 99.5% of all the mass known to orbit Neptune. This also includes the planet's rings and 13 other known moons. 
at a radius of 13,534.4 kilometers, Triton is smaller than Earth's moon. Understanding Neptune's unique characteristics and unraveling its mysteries requires ongoing exploration and study. Despite its remote location and challenging environment, Neptune offers valuable insights into planetary formation, atmospheric dynamics, and the potential for extraterrestrial life within our solar system. One of the enduring mysteries surrounding Neptune is its internal structure and composition. Unlike terrestrial planets such as Earth, which have solid surfaces, Neptune is classified as an ice giant. Its composition primarily consists of a dense core made of rock and metal surrounded by a deep layer of icy materials such as water, ammonia, and methane. The presence of methane in Neptune's atmosphere gives the planet its distinctive blue color, similar to Uranus. Methane absorbs red light, allowing only the blue and green wavelengths to be reflected back into space, resulting in Neptune's vivid appearance. Neptune's atmosphere is characterized by layers of clouds and storms, driven by its internal heat and dynamic weather patterns. The planet experiences some of the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour, 2,400 kilometers per hour. These winds create massive storms and cloud formations that shape Neptune's ever-changing atmosphere. Observations from telescopes and spacecraft missions have provided glimpses into Neptune's turbulent weather systems. Dark spots, similar to giant storms, periodically appear and disappear in Neptune's atmosphere. The disappearance of these dark spots in recent years has puzzled scientists, suggesting complex interactions between internal processes and external factors such as solar radiation. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, orbits the planet in a retrograde direction, opposite to Neptune's rotation. This unusual orbit suggests that Triton may have been captured by Neptune's gravitational pull rather than forming alongside the planet. Triton's surface features include icy plains, ridges, and impact craters, indicating a dynamic geological history shaped by cryovolcanism and other geological processes. Recent observations have revealed evidence of cryovolcanism on Triton, where subsurface liquids erupt through its icy crust, similar to volcanic eruptions on Earth. The presence of cryovolcanism raises intriguing questions about the possibility of subsurface oceans or reservoirs of liquid water beneath Triton's surface potentially providing habitats for microbial life. Neptune's magnetosphere extends far into space and interacts with the solar wind, creating auroras near the planet's poles. These glowing displays of light, similar to Earth's northern and southern lights, offer valuable insights into Neptune's magnetic field dynamics and its relationship with the solar environment. Future missions to Neptune and its moons are being considered to further explore these mysteries. Proposed missions include orbiters and landers equipped with advanced instruments to study Neptune's atmosphere, surface features, magnetic field, and moons in unprecedented detail. In conclusion, Neptune remains a distant and mysterious world that continues to fascinate scientists with its unique characteristics and dynamic environment. Through ongoing exploration and technological advancements, researchers hope to unlock the secrets of Neptune's formation evolution, and potential for hosting extraterrestrial life, expanding our understanding of planetary science and the broader universe.